today I'm going to teach you how to take a cheap lux meter and get accurate par reading from the most expensivest par meter out there. Yes, 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 yes. How you doing today ladies and gentlemen from all over the world? Welcome to King Monarch TV, the place where you need to be. Go ahead, hit that like for your boy. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss a content from your boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Let's dive right into this. Okay, my good people, as you can see, I pulled out the Lux meter. Yes, sir. Um, It's not the most expensive and it's not the cheapest either. It's right in there in the middle somewhere, somewhere, but it's pretty cheap. Yes, sir. That's the Lux meter. And over here where we have, you see it, the Apache. Mm -hmm. And you see the model. This is the most expensivest and the best par meter out there the model mq 500 you see it yes sir yes sir and here it is i also got the stick with it here is the meter so we're going to dive right into these readings folks so you could show you how we could get accurate par reading on a lux meter so because a lot of y'all out there can't afford a par meter. I spent a lot of money for this. I think I spent over six hundred dollars for this. I don't know what the cost is right now. And for this, I think I might spend like thirty, forty dollars. So you know what I'm saying? You see the big difference? So if you could just spend thirty, forty dollars and get the same reading that you get from this, oh my, oh my, oh my. But uh these these lux meters, like back in the day. Like even now, like the purple lights, the the the, the purple lights, blurpees and stuff, you do, you do not get accurate reading from these. So that's why back in the days with those lights, it wasn't good to use these. But the par meter, it gets you the accurate reading from any spectrum, blurpees, white, red, blue. It doesn't matter. That's what it was made for. Lux just gonna give you what it could read. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The par, it sees everything. Yes, sir. But nowadays, things done changed up. It's a lot of white light is about now. You feel me? When you look at somebody garden now, the, it's bright up. It's no more purple and blurple and all that type of stuff. So you might could use the Lux meter right now and get accurate reading. We about to dive into it and test it out so y'all can see what Monarch is talking about. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. I done hooked up a tape measure inside of the tank right to the light so we could do uh, the numbers from, I'm gonna do two to make sure we accurate with it. I'm gonna do 12 and uh, what else we should do, 24? Now I still got the plants here so I don't wanna go down too low. Let's stop at 18. We're gonna, we're gonna do two tests. We're gonna do 18 and we're gonna do 12. All right, let's get it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're in here with the Lux meter. And let's let's get it. I'm at 18 right now, as you can see. Okay, 18 right there. We're at 18, right? And what we're we getting? We're getting 480. So it's close to 500. You see that, right? All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got 480, right? And it, so we're going to round that off to 500. If it was below 450, we would have rounded off to 400. But since it's above above 450, and at least it was kind of close to 500, we're going to round that off to 500. So this is what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to put 500 in, and then we're going to times that. Here go the key number right here. Point zero one five. That's the key number you have to remember, ladies and gentlemen. That right there equal and that's what we get 750 7.5 so with, this the lux reading so with the lux we're going to take away that 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 point in between we're going to throw that away so basically we're getting like 700 you know what i'm saying 750 because it's right it's right there right so basically that's 700 750 in par reading right now that's what you would have get at 18 you feel me? So let's get the par meter and let's see if we could get right in there between the sevens and the 7.5. Okay, so we in here with the par meter at 18. 
at 18 we in here with a palm mirror. My hands is kind of shaking, but we're going to get it right. We're going to get it right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get it right. Yes, sir. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. It's accurate. My hands is shaking and stuff. Well, you can see it. It's right around there. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, as you can see, as you can see. Let me zoom out so you can see these equipments again. So we got one test in so far and you see the accuracy from the lux to the par, right? Now I'm going to do the par reading first and then do the calculation to the lux to show you no matter which way we do it, it's going to be accurate as well. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we're at 12. We're going to take this thing at 12 and see what we get with the par. It just turned off on me. Let me turn it back on real quick and go over to it. 12. We're getting 12. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting 800 with the Lux. Yes, sir. Definitely 800. Fluctuate. Yes, sir. Okay, we back at the calculator. Let's uh let's clear this thing. Let's zero that. And we're gonna put in what we got? 800. Yeah, we're gonna round it off to 800 because that's what it says. 800. And then we're gonna do times. Remember that key number point zero one five every time. And then equal 12. You see that, right? 12 you see that right you see that right huh huh didn't I just did the par and got 12 you see how accurate that is ladies and gentlemen huh do you see how accurate that is I did from 12 inches and I did from 18 inches and we both get accurate numbers you say it you say it you say it Come on! Ah, oh, man! Look right here. I have to go back again with the par meter to show y'all. 12. Yes, sir. 12, folks. All the numbers is dead on accurate. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? This was a great content for y'all that can't afford a par meter. And a matter of fact, let me zoom in on the, uh, the Lux meter that I have. Turn that around so y'all can see it. Dr. Meter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I guess that's what it is. You see it. Yes, sir. And let me let me let y'all see the parameter that I have. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's all y'all got to do, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a cheap Lux meter, all you have to do is use those same numbers that I gave y'all. Those magic numbers, just multiply that and you're going to get the accurate par numbers that you're supposed to get. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your boy Monarch, man, teaching y'all, man, and putting y'all up on everything that y'all need to know when it comes to all the light testing, the LED testing, and all the grows. You feel me? Share this video out. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We here. We here. We in the building. Peace and love. And we up out of here.